The term assessment can feel like a loaded word for teachers. Although assessments can be an excellent tool for learning about students' strengths and needs, assessments can also be time-consuming and difficult to administer while simultaneously managing a classroom. The good news, however, is that an assessment for purposes of phonics differentiation can be relatively quick and easy to administer. Our goal in giving this type of assessment is to determine which specific phonics skills a child has mastered and which skills they have not yet mastered. With this information in hand, we can determine what's next for each child or where their zones of proximal development will be. What are we looking for? Before we discuss a specific assessment to guide you in differentiation, we need to be clear on what we are looking for when we assess. As we'll discuss in the next section, there are a variety of assessments available that can provide helpful insight into students' phonics abilities. However, when we are seeking to differentiate our phonics instruction, our primary goal is to determine which specific phonics skills a child can apply to decoding, reading words, and which phonics skills a child can apply to encoding, spelling words. For example, we want to determine if a child knows how to read and spell words with consonant digraphs so that we can provide instruction on consonant digraphs if needed. If your school has provided you with a scope and sequence or an ordered list of phonics skills to teach, you can use that resource to determine which specific skills you should assess. However, if you don't have a scope and sequence or you're interested in seeing skills above or below your grade level sequence, Refer to the included K3 general sequence of phonics skills, which is based on developmental spelling research. Remember, children might vary in the rate at which they learn these skills, but they will typically acquire these skills in largely the same order. Additionally, it is normal for children to have some gaps in their knowledge. Perhaps a skill was introduced, but a child did not fully master it at that time. Although they were able to continue learning more advanced skills, you will need to loop back and address the skill gaps so that they do not interfere with students' decoding and encoding.